this bird dog row is a great way to involve your core while you're also doing large multi-joint exercises. So let me show you how it's done. You need a dumbbell for this and you are just going to set yourself up almost like you're doing like a three point row, but actually you're going to kind of scoot over a little bit because you're going to take your, you're going to be using your opposite arm and the opposite leg. So I've kind of angled my body a little bit diagonally here on this, uh, ottoman thing uh, you'll probably be using something like a bench but who knows so you're going to take your opposite leg and extend it out behind you you don't want to have it like too far up because at some point your belly starts to drop and we want to actually keep your abs engaged and we want to keep your tailbone slightly tucked so your leg is behind you tailbone slightly tucked abs are tight and then you just row upward so you're pulling your elbow up kind of squeezing your shoulder blade towards the other one at the top and just letting everything come down just like in a normal row at the bottom. So this is kind of what it looks like. You are going to be engaging that glute on that opposite leg. It should hopefully start to burn up a little bit, but even if it doesn't, you're challenging your core here and you are making sure that you're using some muscles that stabilize your spine. Bird dogs are great for your lower back just in terms of keeping it stable and safe. If we can incorporate them into other exercises that are non-bird dog, like rows or whatever, then we're doing something really good for your back in the future. So if you liked this video and thought this demonstration was helpful, I'm just gonna ask you a favor to hit that like, notification, and subscribe button, uh, or leave a comment. Let me know how you liked this exercise. Uh, thank you so much for watching.